On November 16th, I put out a tweet showing that I had hit 420 achievements, and you guys put me to shame. So today, we are changing that. It is currently December 22nd, which means it's been over a month since that tweet, and we've completed 17 whole achievements in that time. In this video, which has to go out in about a day, we are going to try and hit 500 achievements. That means we need to complete 63 achievements in about 6 hours, so I actually have time to edit this as well. If we fail to hit 500 achievements, then we are forced to pull on Ito's banner until we get a 5 star. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of Ito, so I don't want to pull for him, so I guess I better start getting achievements completed. First up, I don't think I've ever been defeated by a wild boar, so we're just going to take lethal fall damage, then we can go ahead and revive with 100 HP, and I believe if we teleport over to this waypoint, we should immediately be attacked by a wild boar. And there we go, we are now bored to death. The next one we can try and tackle is to have all four of your party members completely full at the same time. This might be a little difficult because I need to take fall damage that isn't lethal but puts me in range to eat food and <laughs> I'm kind of failing miserably. And then we also need to do it for everyone. So what what is lethal? Is this lethal? Oh, oh. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Okay. Very good. No, Raiden, do not fall. Now we repeat the same thing. Oh, you are so- No, no, you were gonna die. Oh, wait. Plunging attacks exist. Let's just do that instead. Okay, that's not nearly as much damage as I was hoping. This one should be a lot more damage. Almost half HP. So now we are in the red. Nilu, you have a lot of HP. Will you just die from this? Sadly, yes. Okay, Kokomi, this shouldn't kill you. Good. And now I don't know if different foods actually fill you up more or less because then we could just use a bunch of these instead of an actual dish. But we're gonna go ahead and see. That's half hunger. Okay, what about this? Boom. They do do it at a different rate. But this is probably better because we can eat a lot more. Yeah, look at us go. Look at all these wasted sunsetias. <laughs> this definitely feels like a waste. But we should get an achievement. Beautiful. While we're at this spot up in Liyue, we might be able to get another achievement. We just change our team to Amber and then some Animo characters. Once again, take a trip over to the food tab and then click through absolutely everything until you find the food that you're looking for. Then you also realize that you actually don't have the food you're looking for. So you take a nice little detour and then you try and cook it. I remember where you get the recipe for it, but I don't remember what it's called. Here it is, the Barbados Ratatouille. We grab one of these, force our characters to eat yet another dish. We then activate our little gliding gadget from Inazuma and just glide. It's crazy how slow that stamina bar is going down. I should have actually aimed this at something because at this rate, we're just going to fly out of bounds. Any second now, we should see an achievement pop up. Maybe? I'm starting to feel like I've already gotten these achievements. There's one achievement for gliding really far and another one for gliding for 80 seconds straight. And I think I've been going for over 80 seconds at this point. Do I get it if I land, maybe? Please? Oh, come on, please. Give it me. Achievement. That's not an achievement. I'm gonna eat another one of these. Only this time, we're actually going in the direction that the map exists for. You know, I could also just check to see if I have them already. That's probably the smart thing to do. Oh. Oh, we did get an achievement there. Also, the world is looking incredibly spooky right now. For our next achievement, we're going to be completing a domain using all of the same element characters. Team comp looks amazing. I can't remember if I entered at the highest difficulty or the lowest difficulty. I wanted to do the lowest one, and apparently I entered at the highest. This actually isn't going all that bad, and there's our achievement. We may have already cooked a little bit in this video, but our time at the furnace is not over yet. I believe we just have to mess up. And I don't know if I actually have messed up yet, so yeah, I haven't messed up until right there. Maybe that was a streak I didn't want to break, but for the sake of this video, we kind of have to. And what hurts the most is I have to do it nine more times. That once again felt like such a waste of materials, but you know what? We get the achievement. For our next achievement, we need to go pay the Animo Hypostasis a little visit. Our mission is to defeat this boss after it has absorbed four different types of elemental conversions. I forget exactly when you can apply it with stuff. Like, is it just there? Or is there a different time? Ow. I'm also afraid of accidentally killing it. Maybe here? No? 
Oh, yes, yes, it is here. Okay, every element. Spam the elements. We haven't applied it with Electro or Cryo yet. We got the Pyro and Hydro in there, though. It picked one of the Pyro ones. Okay, good. And there goes one of the Hydro ones. It's finally tornado time once again. Uh, there's an Electro one. And... Come here. No! <gasps> Our Cryo died! Revive, revive, eat, revive. Oh... Crap, now we have to wait again. I love my luck sometimes. It literally absorbed every particle except for the one Electro one. Layla, please don't die. Please just cryo? No cryo. Fantastic. Finally, there goes the Electro one. Can they not absorb the cryo? No, they should be able to absorb cryo, right? You can swirl cryo. Wait. What did I, I just got an achievement. I don't think that's even the achievement that I'm after. Okay, so we got a completely different achievement. That's great. It's time to now try Layla's burst out. Hopefully, we can end it right here. We have a bunch of tornadoes. We use the burst. And then, uh... Huh. This does not seem to work. After all of that, I'm gonna have to restart the fight. Here we are back for round two. This time with Akaya, so I can make sure I'm applying the cryo where I want to. All right, it is tornado time. We're gonna put this down over here. We're gonna run over here, throw down one of these. Run over here and use... Why would you aim at the thing in the middle that you can't even hit? Kaya, you're stupid. Okay, we still got it anyways, doesn't matter. And then you, Electro. Ele what did I do? I suddenly have newfound hatred for this boss. It's tornado time! You, Electro, thank you. And then please, someone absorb Guoba. Somebody absorb Guoba. Don't make me do this again. I have to do it again. And yes, I should have just gotten Jianling's burst and then did this, but that would have required some brain cells. The true way to beat these tornadoes is with a pyronado. There we go. Everything convert to pyro. Come on. Yes! Okay, good. Now we just kill it. There we go. I kid you not, that took just under 30 minutes. We're really gonna have to start speeding this up, huh? If we pop over to the Great Snowbird King and are defeated by it, I believe we get an achievement. I don't know if being defeated by it means everyone on the team has to die, because if that's the case, we have a problem. I have a Nilu on the team who is going to take a very long time to go down to it, so hopefully we could just sacrifice Amber and call it a day. Hit me. Hit me. Thank you. Now, another achievement I'm not sure if I have gotten is to die to the sheer cold effect. So I'm just going to glide around until we start freezing. Maybe go take a dip in the water. I always love some good old hypothermia right as the sun is about to rise. There's honestly no better way to start the day. I almost feel bad for you, Amber, because you're just kind of the punching bag here, but you were on the team, so it was convenient. And have I ever died to sheer cold? No, not until right now. If I'm not mistaken, doing this dude's daily commission might give us another achievement. I did one of them the other day, and this is the second one, hopefully the last. It appears we do not get an achievement yet. Oh, never mind we do! Now for the beginning of this video, I was going off of a guide online of some common achievements that not everyone might have gotten. But in all honesty, I just exhausted that, so I'm kind of on my own now. As far as I'm aware, I never went around and collected all the books to get the achievement for completing whatever series it is. At least, I'm kind of hoping I didn't. Oh, wait. Sparkly. Sparkly. <laughs> I missed one. Thank goodness I missed- well, I guess it wouldn't have mattered because then I would have just had more achievements to start with. Okay, yeah, no, that really changes nothing. Can I defeat four opponents with Hyper Bloom within two seconds? I feel like I would have already gotten that by now. Perhaps the key is just making sure that it's the Hyper Bloom that kills them and not anything else. Gather up, everybody! So, we're gonna do one of these, one of these, one of these, and then just spam this, and... I don't- that- that definitely wasn't fast enough. Okay, we need to weaken them first. Four enemies inbound? It's quite difficult to not just kill them. Uh, one of these, and then this, and then- You died to Hyper Bloom, you died to Hyper Bloom, and- Apparently that was still too slow. We need weaker enemies. Everybody gather up. We're gonna get the whole family in on this one. So, boom, one of these, and then- Okay, maybe using right in first was not the smart thing to do. I should have put down the jellyfish first. You guys follow me this way. We need to get your friend. Excuse me. A literal friend. Yes. Okay. So, boom. Uh, we'll use this over here. And then we just, uh, this. No. I got it this time. Burst. Burst. Skill. I was frozen, so I couldn't do anything. And now we failed. Oh. 
I forgot I swapped the sword that she's supposed to have on Nakaya so that he would survive during the animal hypostasis fight. That's why she's doing so much less damage right now. And also, we're going to be trying to use Kazu here to maybe swirl all this stuff together to make it work better. Although we'll probably swirl this pyro, so let's just get rid of that real quick. Come on. Hyper Bloom. Hyper Bloom. Hyper Bloom. This sucks. Oh, now here's a crazy little idea. Why don't I just go inside of a domain? This gives us five potential enemies to kill, and we can continue to do it until we are able to kill them. Let's group them all up, and then do that, and and, and, and that, and one of these, and then this, and we aren't fast enough. You know, at the beginning, I thought that this challenge might be too easy, and uh, now I'm kind of regretting it. They're all pretty weak, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna activate this over here, and then one of these. And they all died before the Hyper Bloom started procking. Here we go. Hyper Bloom. Kill. <laughs> They're dying to things that aren't Hyper Bloom. It's either I don't do enough damage, or I do too much damage. We gather them all, we put down the burst, and then we run over here, activate that, put down this, and then hope that the Hyper Bloom one one stupid fungus did not die wait for it wait for it wait wait keep waiting keep waiting keep waiting and and just keep, just keep waiting just wait forever and maybe by the end of forever i might have gotten this achievement this is worse than the animal hypostasis just die at the same time you know what you know what i don't need this achievement it's fine it's not worth my sanity. Moving on. We're going to try to keep an enemy frozen for over 10 seconds one more time. I threw some random Hydro and Cryo characters onto a team, so we should be good. I'm hoping I can do it to this guy. He's got a decent amount of HP, and he's already standing in water, and he deflected that. Okay, let's do it this, one of these, and then get this out, and then swirl to keep him frozen, and then just keep doing this, and he somehow isn't frozen. Stay there. Stay there. Don't move. Stay right there. Don't move. Okay, he kind of died. Most of these achievements are so hard because the enemies die before you can actually do them. What about the big boy that spawns over here? Surely he'll have enough HP for this. Sir, step away from the exploding barrels and freeze. And continue to be frozen. And continue to be frozen. And you're not frozen anymore. What happened? Stay there. Right there. Don't move. They unfreeze by default. How do you keep them frozen if they just thaw out? Maybe you have to apply cryo and not hydro. Maybe he's gonna die. He's so going to die. Well, that sucks. So, if we just do this and this and then um and then and then this and we just keep applying cryo over and over and over and over. But see, they thaw out for like half a second all the time. How do you avoid that? This is how you avoid it. Ready? Barbara, and then this, and then this, and then this, and then and then and then that, and then this. Maybe, maybe throw in one of these. They thaw out. Everything thaws out in this game. No, you, you just you just can't. <laughs> I would like to report something. I just went and looked up a tutorial for this achievement and the person making the tutorial failed to complete it because the enemy randomly unfroze while they were trying to show you how to do it. Time for a new strategy. Full cryo team against hydro slimes in water. And to make sure that we don't kill them, I'm going to give them the worst weapons. No killing allowed. So, we're gonna set up this, one of these, and now, yeah. Actually, no, I should not hit them with the claymore because that will break them out of the freeze. Okay. Okay. Apparently, that wasn't 10 seconds. Big slime. Big slime, I need you. I require you to give me freeze. Lots of freeze. Much freeze. Infinite freeze, even. Please. You are frozen. You are so frozen. You are not throwing out any time soon. Give me my achievement. Yes! At the last second, we got it. That was such a pain. Well, I don't know where it went now, but in Leeway, I needed to guide one more Sealy to its home. And so we just need to go find a random Sealy. Oh, oh, there's one. That was much faster than I expected. And there we go. We still need 49 more achievements. I'm gonna have to start talking less or this is gonna be such a long video. I can try to start speeding this up. I don't know how it's gonna go, but the first one is we have to master a couple more recipes. I don't know how many. I'm just gonna go through and start cooking stuff.
There we go. You know that whole time I was trying to cook up a good food pun, but everything I came up with just sounded pretty half-baked. There are two achievements we can get while fighting the hypohydrostasis. What? Um, I think that is the first time Genshin has ever outright crashed on me. The game itself just said no to trying to pick up the pace with these achievements. Now that we are back, there are two things we need to do in this fight. One is to not kill any of the slimes, but instead steal all of the healing orbs, because we have to collect three of them. And then also, we just don't kill them at the end, because I, I guess you can prevent them from getting to the boss instead, and that also works. I never tried it out, so it should be interesting, but this... I thought that would be an achievement. Okay, how about now? How about shoot me now? Heal. Me. No, me. Me. I was standing in front of that. Okay, there we go. So now we just say no to you healing, and we just have to kill this boss and then freeze and push away all the slimes at the end. See, I don't know if I have to leave this one alone too, or if it's just the three that it spawns at the very end. But just to be safe, we're going to put that there to block any of the healing orbs. It is go time. Ow. I'm just gonna put that there and hopefully it stops you. Otherwise, we got a little bit of a problem. Gonna freeze you right there. And then we're gonna also stop you from getting there. And then we just keep you frozen. I killed it. How did it die that easily? No. How are you supposed to do this? Here we go again. I actually have a good feeling about it this time. So we get this. We go to Looming. We put this in front of you. Run over here and just uh, hit you... Oh, oh, that does not hit you away at all. Good to know. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Why would you go from that side, you stupid, stupid character? I no longer have a good feeling about any of this. But here we go again. That one's there. We just block it. And they still make it past somehow. <laughs> Stop. No, you're cheating. You're cheating! I don't know how you're meant to get this, so we're just gonna skip it. Next up is defeating Senora without using any of the crimson moths that spawn. I gotta be honest, I didn't know that that was a possibility. I thought you had to collect them. So I'm a little curious to see how long this is gonna take. I should have brought Pyro. Why didn't I bring Pyro? For some reason, my brain thought that it was Hydro that I needed. We are going to be here for quite a while. Okay, I I'm just gonna restart. Oh, that is much better. Last Guoba, and it should bring it down. Now we just proceed to kill her. There we go. We must go faster. For this dude, we just wait till it flies in the sky, shoot down its wings, and then that's an achievement. There's one. I, I, I ignore the miss. There's two. Okay, easy. For this dude, we just need to kill six of the fungi it spawns within one battle. Come here, little fungi. There we go, another achievement completed. Oh wait, I think I could do these. Off to Spiral Abyss floor two we go. I did not check what enemies are in here, but it's floor two. Like, I don't expect there to be a problem, though I brought Noelle just in case we might have gotten hit by accident. There's floor one complete without any damage taken. Unfortunately, the tower did get hit once, so we're gonna have to do this again. But I believe for a split second there, I saw that we got the achievement for taking no damage. Floor two, round two. Just put up every burst in the game and then hope that nothing can get in here. And perfect, okay, nice. We are now in the land of teapot. Sorry, Candace, you must be removed. Then we just put six random little things in. Wait, it says I reached the limit. No, 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 I need to put one more item in. I don't know if this counts as one realm layout, but I'm just gonna throw one more thing in here. And then whenever that finishes updating, I guess we'll learn. Cause this requires 150 to be placed and we just placed in six items. So we'll see. We need to go around and get two of the Inazuma Seelies back home. And that was the first of the two. I cannot find another Sealy anywhere. And just to show you what I'm working with, 100%, 99%, 100%. So I'm basically looking for the one Sealy left homeless on this island. And for all I know, it could just be underground somewhere. I'm finding so many extra chests in these places that are supposedly 100% complete, but I cannot find another Sealy. Does this count? I just used the memento lens on that little fox statue and then this thing popped out. It's not an Inazuma Sealy technically, but it is a Sealy in Inazuma. Please tell me that this counts. It would appear that it does not count as Raiden is violently headbanging. Wait a second. This looks like a spot where there should be a second Sealy. Search the area. Please, please tell me it's this. I will feel so accomplished and smart if this is it. It is not it. <gasps> oh, ooh, is that a homeless Sealy? Shout out to the interactive map that I just went to look at. 
There we go. That was a pain. I believe we've gotten 22 achievements and it's been just over three hours. Somehow that means I'm actually getting an achievement about every eight minutes, which in theory doesn't sound that bad. So if we are able to maintain that rate, then in about five and a half hours we'll be done. I don't have five and a half hours. I still need to sleep and then wake up and actually edit all of this into a video. And just a little secret between you and me, it is currently 6.30 a.m. So I might have bitten off more than I can chew. Does that mean we're quitting? Of course not. It just means I need to somehow go even faster. And apparently you cannot make this Sealy go home. We need one Electro Sealy from this place or Watatsumi, but I'm pretty sure I finished Watatsumi for the most part. Oh, I see one. I see one somewhere over there. Oh no. No. Stupid fog. That's going to make this a bit more difficult. So that's another achievement that I'm going to have to skip. And of course by that I meant Tsurumi Island, not Tsurai. I literally always confuse the two. We may not be able to guide an electric Sealy back to its home here, but I think if we do this it counts as our sixth one, which gives us the first achievement. Fly faster, please. Yes. And... No achievement. Why no achievement? Wait, what <laughs> What happened? Oh, I've been- Okay, again, I've been doing the wrong island the whole time. This is Sarumi, not Sarai. Why am I so bad at this? I really do not want to pull for Ito, but it's not looking good right now. I'm wondering if it's worth trying the TCG stuff, because there are a decent number of achievements there. I think this is the last achievement I'm going to be getting for the night, or I guess morning at this point. Then I'm going to go to sleep, wake up, and try trying to get 40 more. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen, but there is the last one we're gonna get. That puts us at 460, so we still need 40, and we're approaching four hours of trying to get achievements already. I guess I'll see you tomorrow, well, in a couple seconds for you, but tomorrow for me. We are back for day two, and when I say day two, it's still technically day one, it's just later in the day I've slept and eaten since the last recording. I've come to realize I have quite a lot of footage already, and we're not really close to being done, so that means less talking for me and more achievements. Achievement number one we're gonna get is to catch a fish and then just let it go, which should, perfect, give us another achievement. I also believe I never climbed to the very top of this tree in Sumeru City, so we're going to attempt that. And I think it should be this branch right here. Very nice. Oh, and a Dendroculus. It really is quite peaceful up here. Now, I do believe this thing we can activate with the Electro and it creates a wind current, right? Maybe? Maybe not? Oh, no, it's over there. We can activate this with Electro, and then we get a Wind Current. So we do that two more times, and then that should be another achievement. Apparently, this one is already activated, so that's nice. And this should be the last one. That looked like it did it. We activate it. Swift as the wind. This one comes down to a bit of RNG, but I don't think I've ever gotten the Great Fortune because I usually don't pull for them. So if we can get that, then it will be another achievement, but of course, RNG. Oh. Well, there we go. I, apparently I got it. We did indeed get great fortune. I don't like that my lucky object for the day is the Onikabuto because that's what Ito wants and I don't want Ito. So that is mildly concerning. Here's the deal. We are currently at 464 achievements. That means I somehow need 37 more and none of them seem particularly easy. I have been told that we can do the hangout quests to get some achievements, though I don't know how many and I know that they take a while. I have never done a hangout on any account at any point in time, so this could be terrible. And I know the whole point of this is to go through read and, you know, hang out with the character. I'm just gonna watch videos in the background while I spam through dialogue. So does it matter what I even pick? I'm hoping not. I'm hoping I could just spam a button and see how it goes. So apparently I finished a route, I think. That didn't take very long at all. But I didn't get a single achievement, which means we get to do it again. Again. Since I know that I already have way too much footage for this video, and I need to somehow finish recording all of it tonight, I am only going to show you if we get achievements from now on. Wish me good luck. There's an achievement. 
Okay, we finally got another one, but that was only after completing six different paths for the hangout. I don't think this hangout strategy is going to work. That was roughly 50 minutes and we got two achievements. So now it's back to running around trying to get random achievements and if I happen to get any, you'll see it, but uh, <laughs> it's not looking good. Guys, it's happening. We just need to go around and break a ton of barrels. And by a ton, of course, I mean six. There we go, another achievement. And if we go in to look, we are at 499 achievements. It is currently 2 a.m. in the morning, which means we are one hour away from being 24 hours into this challenge. Now, of course, I did eat and sleep and whatnot, and I'm going to eat as soon as this is over, but I know exactly what achievement we can try and get to finish this off. Though I may have joined the wrong world because this person did say that they're probably AFK, and it appears that they are AFK. We are now in the world of Moe Hegan Blue. Yeah, they said yes, so we just need to go take down Senora once, and then we are done. This is it. We're finally going to end this stupid challenge. And yes, stupid. And also, all of my in-game voices are just turned off, because when I was doing the hangout stuff, I was trying to watch videos, and they were a little distracting. Now, I know a lot of what you guys have just seen is a compilation of me getting a ton of achievements, but I want you to know, it has been about four hours of gathering achievements, and I'm sure it was condensed down to just a couple of minutes of a compilation. So for my sanity, if you could just please click that like button, check that you're subscribed, because this has been the worst challenge I think I've ever done. And there we have it. The final achievement. Say goodbye to Mohegan Blue because we have done all that we need to do. Look at this. Look at this. 500 achievements. Look, we got all of these, these, these. There's just there's so many. I had to claim a couple as I was going just so I could see what the next achievement required. But we're currently at 7,434 primos. Time to just go through and claim them all. And the last achievement... There we go. Everything is claimed up. We are now at 8,019 primos, so about 600. That's really sad considering how long it took. But then look at this. We also have so many new name cards. Of course, I'm still going to be sticking with the ride and Shoguns, but we did get a lot of new ones. Well, I'm not going to delay this anymore. I really need to go and start editing this immediately. Ideally, I want to get this out in about eight hours, so we're going to see if I can edit it down in that time. It's going to be close for sure, because I also need to go and eat something. With that being said, though, I hope you guys did enjoy. That was a lot of suffering, but I did not want to pull for Ito. Somehow, I managed to get it done. And with that being said, I will see all of you guys next time.